In the world of physical culture, the personalities do not get much larger than Arthur Jones. Inventor of the Nautilus exercise system, big game hunter, aviator, and connoisseur of crocodiles. Born on November 22, 1926, in Arkansas, and raised in Seminole, Oklahoma, Arthur was an avid reader who read his father's entire medical library by the time he was 12, and every book in the Seminole Library by the time he was 14, before dropping out of school in the 10th grade. Although he would go broke more times than he could count, Arthur made the Forbes fortune list of 400 richest people. He also revolutionized the way many elite bodybuilders approach their training. Through a wild ride of a life, Jones lived by the philosophy, younger women, faster airplanes, and bigger crocodiles. He married at least five times to women who were between 16 to 20 years old. He built the still operating 350 acre jumbo layer, which offers a private airplane runway for celebrities and the wealthy. And he kept an 18 foot saltwater crocodile in the Nautilus office building. After leaving school at 15, Arthur rode the rails and eventually joined the Navy before taking up a range of eclectic jobs. He flew live animals to South America, imported pet and zoo animals, kept a small zoo in Louisiana, stocked big game in Africa, and hosted a syndicated TV show called Wild Cargo. All the while, he tinkered with different exercise machine ideas. Without proper training in physiology, Jones taught himself by studying cadavers. It was not uncommon for one of his kids to find a human limb in the freezer. When Jones first introduced the Nautilus machine at the Los Angeles lifting convention in 1970, no one knew what to make of it. For a man who described his mind as, quote, 64,000 miles to the right of Attila the Hun, and so fertile it frightens people, end quote, he was used to the experience of bringing forward ideas and inventions which could not be processed by the herd-like masses. Of course, in a relatively short amount of time, Nautilus equipment became an immensely successful American story, and Jones later developed hammer strength machine equipment as well. He also developed a degree of paranoia, as indicated by the Colt 45 sidearm he wore at all times, even, it is rumored, between the bedroom and bathroom. In the 1970s, many bodybuilders were spending hours upon hours in the gym. In contrast, Jones popularized and practiced high-intensity training, or HIT. Jones indoctrinated many into this method of working out, including bodybuilders Eddie Robinson, Mike Metzer, and Casey Viator. Later, the six-time Mr. Olympia, Dorian Yates, stated that Arthur Jones's high-intensity training method had a significant impact on his training methods. Jones came up with his program of intense training while watching his 400-pound pet gorilla do a one-arm pull-up with ease. According to Arthur, the reason for this is that, like many wild animals, Gorillas do almost no physical activity. However, when they are active, it is with 100% intensity. The activity load is brief, hard, and infrequent. Jones recommended the same approach to training. To get an understanding of the Jones style of high intensity training, here are the 10 guidelines as explained by Matt Brzezinski. Now, it should be noted that our mentor, Dr. Fred Hatfield, by no means endorse these 10 guidelines. Nonetheless, they are as follows. 1. Train with a high level of intensity. 2. Attempt to increase the resistance used or the repetitions performed every workout. 3. Perform 1 to 3 sets of each exercise. 4. Reach concentric muscle failure within a prescribed number of repetitions. The general rep range is 
or 15 to 20 for hip exercises, 10 to 15 for leg exercises, and 6 to 12 for upper body exercises. 5. Perform each repetition with proper technique. 6. Strength train for no more than one hour per workout. 7. Emphasize the major muscle groups. 8. Whenever possible, work your muscles from largest to smallest. 9. Strength train two to three times per week on non-consecutive days. And 10. Keep accurate records of your performance. For more of these legends, this history of physical culture, click subscribe.